or coached by Jimmy Pedro, who's two-time Olympic champion. But uh, Travis uh, moved in November, and he's improved a lot. From? Where did he move from? He moved from Jason Morris's club that was located in Scotia, New York. Well, I really hope that we get to see the best of um, Travis. I like him. He's got nice judo. There's a start with the drop there. Nagy just misses out. And now a chance to work Takamatsu on the ground. I saw him working in the um, warm-up area with Nick Del Popolo on some knee was up. Looking for the Tomonagi attack there, Travis Stevens, but it's a bit far away. Nonetheless, it's the second attack of the contest, and both attacks have come from the American, Travis Stevens. Takamatsu was falling away from Stevens then and couldn't even attempt the Seonagi. And now another knee was her exchange. Stevens looking to work on the arm, but Takamatsu was nice and tight there. So no chance for the 23-year-old American. Spinning away from that attack. And now it's the turn of Takamatsu to work around the ground but quickly blocked by Stevens and now it's Stevens with a chance to um, work his opponent over no chance to develop that move yep that's um, quite rightly from the referee and uh, didn't like the grip there. Just dropped down for the Sernagi. Managed to cleverly avoid having to um, work against the Japanese with that grip. Needs to get off that. Oh, chance for the counter. Just missed out. Nice little exchange there between Takamatsu and Stevens. Both having a chance. But no score. reigning Pan American champion at under 81 gets off that Senegi as well this is a good match here both exchanging some nice positions slightly unfortunate a little bit high there and they oh and he, he, um, he goes ahead that's the second infringement that Takamatsu has committed so Stevens is ahead now by Yuko he was just shaping for a for a um, a Marotigari, but ended up picking up high around the waist. He didn't have a chance to even drop down low, but he was shaping for for that. Sakamatsu is going to step it up now. Stevens is moving; he's aware of it. Needs to be clever here because the referee is going to be watching for his work rate he's just to keep what he's been um, doing keep attacking here nice drop there that was good now needs to work away on the knee was a keep working on his opponent and the clock two things to look at here now for Stevens I like the look of this minute and a half the man's doing well uh, his uh, <laughs> Well, he lost to him in Hamburg, so he's really looking for a win here. And the last time they fought, it was really close. So as you can see, it's still close, but he's now going after him all the time. That yep. was his thing that happened Be in first. Hamburg. 
from first to the attacks. Changed the grips up as well. And now another chance for Niwa's attack. Amatsu a little bit careless there in that attack and giving Stephen the chance. Stephen's the chance to work him over on the ground. Wasn't able to take advantage. Only used up a few seconds on the clock. Stephen's nice grip with the right arm now. Needs to use it. Drops low again. Just beginning to blow. The first time that I've seen him look a little bit tired in this contest but he's been attacking really really well here nice he changes it up this time with an attack looking like uh, Sutemi was a attack and oh, misses with the Sayanagi but comes back round and that uh, will keep him in the eyes of the referees as looking busy 40 seconds left 40 seconds away from a place in the quarterfinal. Sorry, in the semi-final, because he had the buys. What a draw he had. How lucky can you get? Stevens is going to take this. This is a really good performance from Travis Stevens. Stood up all the way. He's still got his head up and still attacking. No, he's okay. He's not going to get caught there now. In 13 seconds, he can afford to take a drop and still win it. Good boy. First in for the attack there. Head up. Keep working on the grip on the grips. Takamatsu knows it's gone. He knows it's all over. You can see it. That's a good win. Don't be afraid to celebrate, Aaron. That was a good performance. He worked that really well. Yep. And it will be Stevens against Nifontov. Yeah, I think that'll be a really good match. They both kind of have similar styles. Yeah. They're kind of awkward. Yep. They reach over. And a lot of work. Both of them work hard. I, I think that that's going to be a really good match. Well, you can say all you want about the change in the qualification system, but that fight shows that there are people who've got quality judo, who've got class um, performances that they can bring to quality events, and Stevens is going to take away big points from this.